Hi everyone, Gina Kraft, District Instructional Technology Coach. Um, Google has recently um, given educators a little bit more um, control over Google Meet, and so they've um, kind of given us some new features that I just want to look at today so you can see some of the different things that you can do this week that you may have not been able to do last week. So one of the things that you're going to be able to do is that you are going to be able to um, mute your students. So if they don't mute themselves, um, you'll be able to mute them. Um, you can also kick students out of your Google Meet um, if for any reason you felt like they should not be in that Google Meet anymore. Um, and you are also going to be able to ensure that kids cannot rejoin a Google Meet. So it kind of will permanently close out a Meet, which has not been occurring prior to this. So in order to do this. I'm going to join or start a meeting, and I'm actually going to put in a code for this. Um, I'm just going to put MCUSD2 technology. Okay, then, and then I'm going to hit continue. I'm going to do a code this time because this is what ensures that after the teacher leaves this meet, that the students are then not able to join the meet. So I'm going to go to another window so I can join this as a student. MCUSD2 technology. I'm going to allow. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and join now. This is on my teacher. So this is the teacher platform um, in this window. Um, and now I'm going to come over here. And this is when I'm the student. So there's two different accounts. And I'm going to go ahead and mute this one. Okay. Well, I didn't even mean to do that. Let's rejoin that. Okay, so I have muted myself on both of them so that we're not having that weird feedback. Uh, but here is the teacher view. So I'm going to click on the students so that I can see these students. Um, and I can see if I were to click on this other account, I have the ability to, um, I, I am, if the student was not muted, I could mute this student. And I can also remove this student. So if that student shouldn't be part of it, I'm going to remove that student. And then it just goes back to whoever else is in here. Now, whenever I end up closing out um, from this Google Meet, then it will no longer be able to be accessible by students. Even if they put that same code in, um, they will not be able to access this Google Meet, which really gives us a lot of control and kind of helps make sure that students aren't having um, potentially uh, inappropriate conversations and using our Google Meets that we are just not even aware of. So once I leave this, I'm going to leave the call. I'm not going to just X out. I'm going to leave the call. Now that I have physically left, nobody else can join this because they use that code. So um, using that code, I think, is going to be really helpful um, whenever we are setting up these Google Meets just to ensure that we have a little bit more control um, over those meetings with our students.